Hello friends and assalamu alaikum. Today's video is in continuation with the last XD video in which we spoke about connecting two artboards or prototyping. So today we have overlay in our plate. So let's get started. To refresh your memory, let's play the prototyping we made the other day in which we connected the packages section of our main home page to another artboard. So the moment you clicked on this button, it would take you to the relevant section. But what I want is to have it as a pop-up menu that usually doesn't leave the main page, rather sits on top of it. So to do that, let's first remove the header and the footer of our artboard number 2. So just select the footer and delete. Goodbye footer. And then the header. Join the footer, my dear header. Alright, good riddance. Now let's move to the prototype tab and uh, click on the packages button since that was the only one we connected to another artboard. And now you should be able to see the different options staring at you on the right. The only thing we need to change here is type. Currently it is set at uh, transition because it was transitioning from right to left and left to right. Now we want it as overlay so let's pick overlay and you could see the connection line has changed from a solid line to a dashed line which signifies that this is connected to reveal itself as overlay. So we're gonna press the play button to see how it fares now. God this looks ugly and it looks ugly because there's an overlap of the background from artboard 1. You see the line border of artboard 1 is making it look not so nice so let's fix that. We're going to escape from here and go to Artboard 2 and grab a rectangle and make one big rectangle covering the entire artboard. And uh, let's fill it with black and uh, let's also change the opacity to about 30% and then right click and send it to back. Also, I noticed there's another problem here which we could not see earlier because of the white background. You see the third column here is transparent, so we'd like to change that as well. And for that, let's make another rectangle with a white fill this time. And then right click and send it to back. You still can't see it because it has hidden itself behind the black background. So let's right click on the black background, which is actually gray now and send it to back and you should be able to see it now. Let's set the size of the rectangle a bit and I think I'd like to have rounded corners so click and pull inward the round widget and all the corners should now be rounded. Now let's go to prototype and hit the play button to see if our problem is solved. It looks fine now, except that it should be a little smaller in size, but you get the idea, so we're not going to spend time on it. Now when you click on the name of the artboard, you see the small home button. Click on it if you want to set it as the home screen. You can make more than one artboard as your home screen, so you see if I click on this one as well, this gets activated as the home screen. So I'd like to keep the first artboard as our home screen. So let's click to make that as our home screen. So that's how you create a pop-up box in Adobe XD. Okay, it's another short one today. So I'm going to see you in the next one pretty soon. Until then, goodbye and thanks for watching.